Hello, I'm Celine, the Community Manager for Effect House North America. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create this awesome Genshin Impact randomizer effect. Think of me as Paymon on your Effect House journey. Let's get started. If you go to effecthouse.tiktok.com, there's a red button called download. If you click it, you will be able to download the software. Once you open it, it'll look something like this. And as you can see, there's a bunch of templates that you can start off with. Today, we are going to be using the randomizer template. Now, this is what the project screen looks like. Here, you can see the hierarchy panel where you can add objects. This is the assets panel where you can import objects from your computer or build new materials, textures, and mesh. Effect House is built on a visual scripting system where you connect the nodes with these arrows and it triggers a motion. This is the preview panel. You can also click on this button to look at all of the sample videos we have, but today I will be using the camera. So as you can see, we have a title screen and a animation going on. We're going to be replicating these with Genshin Impact assets. All of the assets I'm using on this tutorial is available for you to use as well, and you can find it in the link down below. I have edited these assets using Photoshop, but you can use Procreate or any other editing software of your choice. There are multiple ways to import assets into Effect House. One is drag and drop. So I'm going to drag the title page and drop it right here. As you can see, it has now been added. When I'm trying to import what kind of character I am, you must click this plus icon, go under import and select texture sequence. This will allow all of the assets to be grouped into one singular texture sequence that plays like this instead of having it individually imported as single images. And if you look over here, it looks like a bunch of images are stacked versus the single image icon. So I'm going to go over to the title screen and select a new title. And now, as you can see, if you restart the effect, we have a new title screen. I'm going to go and do the same thing with a random animation sequence. Even though you replace your title screen, it is still going to play the same animation sequence because this is what is controlling the second part of the effect. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom to the animation sequence, click on the texture sequence, and click on the anim animation we imported. Click OK. And now, if we look at the effect, we should have a full effect ready to go. If you look to the visual scripting panel right here, there's many things you can do to customize the look of your effect. Number one, we can click this checkbox and this effect will now only trigger if you click on the screen. Another thing, I think this animation sequence is running for too long, so I am going to change the time of the spin from five seconds to two seconds. Now, if we restart our effect, instead of playing it for five seconds, it will be two seconds. Another thing you can do is to delay how long your title is being shown or how long it takes for your title screens to be faded out. So you can play with these values to determine the look of your effect. For now, I'm going to switch this to four seconds. And now I'm going to see what kind of Genshin character I am. Nilu, please. Oh, Nahida, okay. Not bad, not bad. She's cute, adorable. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I'm very looking forward to seeing your creations. This effect is live right now for you to try out at this handle. For more resources, you can click on this learning resource channel where you'll be able to see all of the useful guides. Also, please join the TikTok Effect House Discord where you can participate on challenges, ask questions, and win merch. Thank you for joining me on the tutorial today, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!